100 years ago, people made their own fuel. They used it in their engines and their lanterns. Henry Ford made cars that were flex fuel until Prohibition made alcohol illegal and hard to find. Since then, we've been convinced that alcohol is just a recreational drug. We've been told that alcohol ethanol fuel will hurt our engines. I decided to find out for myself because we can grow more. Now using E85 in a small engine, alcohol is a very good fuel. E85 is 85% alcohol, but it's not slippery. So we're going to add just a little bit of synthetic oil, a little bit of synthetic two-cycle oil. It's about a 200 to 1 mix, so I'm going to put this in here and measure it out and then I'm going to fill the remainder of this up with E85 out of my gas can. Normally I just mix up a 200 to 1 mix right in my gas can. Let that drip in there for a little while. Now the other thing that you could do if you don't want to go to the hassle of adding a little bit of oil to your mix every time is they do make hardened valves that they use in propane or natural gas powered conversions. Those probably wouldn't wear as much. Okay, we have our fuel mixed up there. See, it's a nice pretty blue. So you can tell that it's got some of the synthetic oil in it. Now I'm going to show you how to convert the lawnmower. Here we go. The primary difference between using gasoline as a fuel and using alcohol as a fuel is the air fuel ratio. Now with gasoline, it requires more air than with alcohol. Alcohol requires a third less air for proper running than gasoline does. So what I have done to modify this, they used to have little screws on the carburetor of small engines. But they've taken those off, so now to change the air fuel ratio, I change the amount of air that can go into it by covering up roughly one-third of the holes that let air come into the carburetor. So you could just do it that way or some people have taken washers and soldered them into the throat of the carburetor, but this accomplishes the same thing. 